One minute is gone. Time is taken out there while uh, referee Sikora straightens out uh, the lacing on Andrew's uh, left glove. He dropped his uh, guard and went to referee Sikora, and Maxim, in a very good sportsmanship, did not take a punch at him. One minute remaining in the seventh round. seconds remaining now. Seven is over. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, the Brewers of Pabst Blue Ribbon really believe in taking you around the country. Next week, Cleveland. Then on the de December the 15th, the middleweight championship between Olsen and Langway out in San Francisco. Detroit on the 22nd, and a big one recently signed for Miami, Florida on the 29th. Archie Moore, the light heavyweight champion against Bob Satterfield. I'd like to remind you folks in Chicago that this Friday night, the International Stock and Horse Show opens at the amphitheater. So if you happen to be in and around Chicago, don't miss it. Friday, November 26th through Saturday, December 4th. Paul Andrews, 25 years old, has had a very busy year. And he has um, won a total of uh, six out of seven, losing a decision to Harold Johnson in 10 rounds, recently knocking out Bobby Hughes, Yvonne Durrell, and Bo Willis. In fact, he's on a string now of three consecutive knockouts as he's threading himself for round eight against the veteran Joey Maxim, the former light heavyweight champion. Maxim is weighing 189 and a half tonight, and Andrews 180. Neither man has been down. Andrews landing about his best right-hand shot of the night. It was on the right below the left eye of Joey Mike. The eighth round of a scheduled ten rounder. One minute remaining in the eighth round.
Joey Mooks has thrown nine million left jabs tonight, and most of them have been landing. Fifteen seconds remaining in round eight. <laughs> round nine coming up, ladies and gentlemen. The corner to Paul Andrews in the black trunks against Joey Maxim in the white. Nita Man has been down. It's been the boxing skill of Maxim against the two-fisted punching attempts of Andrews. Andrews has uh, continued to drop the left hand all evening, and that's given Maxim a chance to score with his right cross. Joey's eye is no worse or better. Very little vision out of the right eye. Two minutes remaining in the ninth round. Remaining in the ninth round. Andrews left has uh, been almost an unknown quantity tonight as Maxim has completely taken that out of the contest and Paul has been trying to do most of his punching with his right. Joey Maxim, before the bout started, wanted us to be sure to wish you the very happiest of Thanksgivings. And speaking for yours truly, we hope that you take the advice of Bill, the bartender, and have plenty of Pabst Blue Ribbon on hand to help you enjoy your Thanksgiving. Andrews, probably his outstanding performance of the year was the knockout over Danny Nardico in round four. And at ringside tonight is the man that he idolizes most, uh, the former heavyweight champion, Joe Lewis. Over to Joey Maxim, who has not had too much work in the 1954 boxing season. He lost to Archie Moore in the 15-round bid to regain the title. We brought you that one. And he outpointed Floyd Patterson in 10. Joey has been fighting since uh, he was 19 years old. And he's been really a cagey boy in there tonight against a younger, stronger man. And here is round 10. Paul Andrews in the black trunks, Joey Maxim in the white.
Well, the action from round seven has been at very close quarters. Andrews got his left glove up and blocked that one. Two minutes remaining in the tenth and final round. the action at close quarters. Less than one minute remaining. tiring now with less than 30 seconds to go in the bout <laughs> it's all over Maxim landed a punch after the bell but then, of course, I apologize. Joey went to the wrong corner. I'd like to remind you that over many of these same stations, you'll get a chance to meet one of the great football players of all time, Doc Blanchard. Now, uh, we'll have the decision in just a moment. Be proud of a beer you serve. Never before in any beer such refreshing likeness. Never before in any beer such fresh from the brewery flavor as in the beer you pour today from a bottle of Pat's Blue Ribbon. That is the corner of Joey Maxim and the wily Jack Kearns. And uh, the congratulatory note from Paul Andrews on the good clean contest weights tonight and here's the announcement from Pat Rush. Judge John Bray scores 99 points for Maxson, 93 for Andrews. <laughs> Judge James McManus scores 96 points for Maxson, 95 for Andrews. Referee Frank Sakura scores 98 points for Maxson, 96 points for Andrews. Winner by unanimous decision, Joey Maxson. And Joey Maxson is the winner, proving once again that there is no substitute for experience as he gave young, strong Paul Andrews a terrific boxing lesson tonight. And uh, in the estimate of the three officials, referee Sakura, John Bray, and James McManus, despite a badly swollen right eye from the first round on, that uh, Joey uh, wrapped it up very, very easily and was never in any uh, danger at all. And uh, remember, Maxim was in there carrying 189 and a half pounds. The last time you saw him on a Paps Ribbon bout, he came in at 175. So. Joe says he wants to campaign against the heavyweights, and you never can tell. The way he handled young uh, Paul Andrews tonight, 
he looks like uh, he might move into the heavyweights. Now, don't go away, because in a moment, we'll tell you about next week.